Hey, how you going everyone? How are you today? I know it's been a while, but finally I'm back. Recently I'm sure that you've heard about the Solana hack, which wasn't actually a hack of their network, but instead one of their most popular wallets, Phantom, which was compromised due to people importing their private keys into the Slope mobile wallet. So if you had a Phantom wallet, or interacted with Slope, or a Slope mobile wallet, then there's a good chance that you have been affected by this hack. Actually, I do use a Phantom wallet myself, but I've always thought it was one of the best wallets out there. Fortunately, I wasn't affected by the hack. I've always used my Ledger device, Nano or Nano X, in conjunction with my Phantom wallet. The Ledger device holds the private keys and never allows those keys to go online. So in this video, I'd like to show you how to get this set up so that you can take advantage of the Solano ecosystem just like before but much more securely. I'll download the latest latest Phantom Wallet, then I'll set up my Nano Ledger S from scratch, then I'll use the Ledger Live software to download the Solana app onto my Nano S device. Once I've done that, I'll add my Ledger device to my Phantom Wallet, and that's it. Next, I'll briefly show you how to use your Phantom Wallet now that you have it secured with your Ledger device. Alright, without further ado, let's get started. Just to let you know, I, I chapterize all my videos, so if you've already done some of the things I'm going through, then feel free to just jump ahead and just go to where you need to go. Alright, so step one. So if you haven't already, grab the official Phantom Wallet browser extension and pin it to your browser. Uh, just click on the jigsaw icon and click on pin. You've probably done this a thousand times before, but you'll need to write down your seed phrase onto a piece of paper and store it away securely. That way, if your computer breaks down or gets stolen or something like that, you'll be able to recover your funds in your wallet. Alright, step two. Now you have your wallet downloaded, now it's time to get your Ledger device set up. It's best to purchase your Ledger device directly from a seller. I kind of agree, but so long as the package is unopened and you can see the seed phrase isn't already provided then you can connect your Ledger device to Ledger Live for the first time and it will confirm automatically whether or not your device is authentic. So to be honest, if you just take those precautions then I think you'll be just fine. Okay, now let's go through the process of setting up your Ledger for the first time and then we'll add the Solana app to it so you'll be able to connect to your Phantom Wallet. Okay, so let's get started. So here's my box for my Nano Ledger S. All right, so I wanna get started, get, get set up really quickly. All I'm gonna do is plug this in for the first time. So plug it in, plug that into my computer, like that. Okay, and it's gonna just click click the button. See, there's two buttons, one here, one here. Okay, click that button and press left or right to navigate. So let's go right, press both buttons to validate. Okay, get started at set up as a new device. So I'm gonna double click with two of my fingers together. Bump. Choose a pin code. Okay, so I'm gonna choose a pin code. All right, so I'll just do that off screen. And to confirm the pin code, I click like that. Okay, and then two fingers together and I push down. Okay, confirm pin code. All right, so I'll just do that off screen. And confirm it. Three, two, one. Okay. Done. Now I have to write down my recovery phrase in my computer. All right. So I'm going to push this button here. You can see there's a little arrow. So I push that button. Okay. Like this. And it's going to tell me the word number one. Okay. And now what I do is I get my piece of paper and I write down the word into my book, okay? 
Okay, so I've written all those words down. Now it's going to ask me to confirm my recovery phrase. I'll press those two buttons at the same time. So I'm going to take that off the screen now. Okay, and then I ask you, these 24 words are your only backup. Cool. And keep them in a safe place. So, always your only backup. Okay, cool. Keep them in a safe place. Cool. Never share them with anyone. Press both buttons to continue. John. Okay, and now it's processing. Excellent. Your, vi your device is now ready. Okay, guys, well done. So now all I have to do is get on to Ledger Live. All right, then. So first thing you'll need to do is download Ledger Live. Link in the description. If you have it already, then just make sure it is up to date. You'll see that the orange bar is at the top. Uh, once that is done, all you need to do is install uh, and then restart. Okay. And once you've done that, plug in your Nano Nano into the computer and your Ledger Life so software will detect it and ask you to update the firmware if required. So go ahead and do that. All right, cool. The firmware is updated, so make sure your Ledger device is connected and let's install those necessary apps. So I will install Ethereum app first. Shouldn't take so long. You'll see that it comes up on my Nano S. Okay, so now I'll install the Solana app. As you can see, I've already installed that. And if you want the ability to view all your tokens in one place on the Ledger Live, you can create an account for your tokens. Uh, for example, go to Accounts and click on Add Account. And select the crypto asset, for example Solana, and Continue. But I've already created mine. So now you can check your receive address by clicking on account and clicking on receive and then just cancel out if you like. Now that I have those installed, go to your Nano S and click on the Ethereum app. And click on the right button and go to settings and double click on blind signing so that it reads enabled now right click and get out of settings perfect okay so now you've got your ledger device all set up you can now connect to your phantom wallet so make sure that you have completely closed your ledger live open up your phantom wallet and click the top three bars on the top left and select add connect wallet then connect hardware wallet make sure that you have connected your ledger device to your computer and you clicked on the Solana app then click continue I've already added mine but you should see your wallet address from ledger live account that you added earlier come up here now select it and add account and that's it now let's see how to use this so firstly I'll connect my ledger device and open up the Solana app you can see that below and then on the top right I'll go to another phantom wallet not ledger one I'll copy the deposit address now I'll return back to my ledger connected phantom wallet and click the send button and paste in the address I just copied and type in 0.1 sol and press send. Now on the bottom left side you'll see my ledger device pop up with a transaction. I right click on the, my device and press approve by pressing both buttons simultaneously and that's it. Okay then so there you go uh, this was a complete step-by-step -step tutorial on how to use your Phantom Wallet securely with your Ledger device. If you learned something useful today and enjoyed the video, please leave a like and a comment. Bye for now everyone.